Today, a trio of apps that lets you two-way sync data from a spreadsheet to QBO and simplify the month and close. The apps, Booker, Wrangler, and Accruer, a past favorite of the channel. I love Accruer. It's a demo day and all three apps are brought to you by today's sponsor, FinOptimal, who's basically an accounting firm that just started selling the tech that they had built for themselves. So first, we're gonna dig into Booker. It's all your journal entries for a QBO file in a single spreadsheet, a blank canvas of possibility. Bob Ross joke, that's funny. Take a look, I can label the entries with like my initials, select the account, the description, name, department, class, and the items from these lists have been pulled from the actual QBO file. Out here, I can set these dates to be whatever I want, but here I've just got them to be the last day of each month. So if you think about this, the act of posting those month over month journal entries is pretty much as simple as dropping the amounts into the next month's column, which can be made even easier by doing things like pulling a loan amortization schedule into this workbook. Here I've got a table of the monthly interest splits and I can just reference the cells for each month with the formula. So pull the amounts over to the Booker tab and then those entries are gonna sync back to QuickBooks either when I click the green book button or I can set it to sync overnight if I want. And if I pop over to the QuickBooks file, you'll see the month over month interest lines up with my spreadsheet. And if I actually pop into the journal entry, it's gonna link us back to our spreadsheet. So all that information is driving from this one spreadsheet and actually updating in QuickBooks, making it super easy if I wanna like change something, like we could change the interest rate on the amortization schedule. I update that. It updates the amounts on the journal entry tab and those changes get pushed to QBO. Do something harder. Okay, here's a bigger file with more stuff built out, but my favorite thing down here under expense allocation, I can add some helper rows to calculate splits. You see these percentage splits change month over month and the journal entry rows down here are calculated based on the amounts in the helper rows. I set this all up, everything posts to the QBO file, but what makes this even better is Wrangler which can pull QuickBooks reports into the same workbook I'm using to create these journal entries. So I'm logged into FinOptimal now, and I'm gonna generate a report. Lots of options here, uh, kind of the greatest hits of QuickBooks reports. I'm gonna say PL. We can set the columns, the report period, filters, all that, and it'll push the report to our spreadsheet. Here we are back in Google Sheets. Looks more or less like the QuickBooks report. But if I open this up, we've got some extra metadata we could use. I'm just gonna close it. So I can jump back to my journal entry sheet where you could see how from the cells on this sheet, we could reference any amounts from financial reports, right? Is this getting exciting yet? I don't need much fuel. You get that pesky management fee that has to like zero out income every month, something like that. Whole bunch of scenarios where this is useful, but the best report you can get with Wrangler, they call it their magic report. So inside of FinOptimal, I've summoned a magic report here, which basically just gives you line level access to all of your QuickBooks data, like the underlying data structure. I can edit the columns that are displayed and build a custom report. So let's say this company has some shared costs and anytime one of these costs hits, I have to remember to split it at month end. And until then, we tag those transactions to a class called allocate, like a reminder to circle back and allocate them later. Now, since this has pulled all of my classes from QuickBooks, I hope they make that joke more times. I'll come up here to class filters and I'll select allocate. Now we filtered every line in QBO to only include those with the class allocate. I'll save this view. Now back over in Google Sheets, you can probably see where this is headed. We've got the magic report here, but back over in our journal entry tab, we're gonna calculate this allocation using actual amounts, baby, from the financial report. We're basically gonna do some sum ifs here to pull from the magic report of unallocated entries and it's gonna flow clear through to the journal entry. Now, imagine setting up that magic report to work month over month, that allocation that you gotta do every single time. That whole chunk of work is now just like formula driven. Pulls in the magic report, the allocation on the booker sheet here calculates the amounts that need to get posted and you've more or less automated that entire allocation going forward. Even if there's a change down the road, the date in the magic sheet updates, the sum ifs on the booker sheet update, and then if you want, the updated journal entries can get synced, sunked, sank to QuickBooks. This would have saved me so much time on like big hairy multi-entity stuff. And then cherry on top of all this, the third app, Accruer. Oh, I love Accruer. 
We've covered this one on the channel in the past and I'll link it at the end of the video. But in short, what accruer does is you put for the period and then a date range on just about any description in QuickBooks and it'll automatically calculate that expense or revenue like the accrual over the entire period range. It generates all the journal entries. It'll even update those journal entries if you come back and change the date range later. It does all that automatically. It gives you helpful schedules to reconcile those accruals that it's calculating. And I know what you're already thinking. Yeah, another tractor beam joke is coming. No, if we come back to our journal entry sheet, Booker, you can even put for the period and then a date range in your line description if you just want a crewer to take an entry and allocate it across a whole bunch of months. Yes. Pretty wild, right? Gets you a big step closer to that, that notion of a continuous close, like eliminating all the month end work. So it's just kind of always happening. Now, before I hand you off to the accruer video, accruer. because that one will blow your mind. Also one of the funniest videos we've ever made. Two questions I know you'll ask. What if I don't use Google Sheets? Right now it only supports Google Sheets, but they're working on Excel support and also just supports QuickBooks Online for now. But if you wanna see something else, let them know. And pricing. You can buy Booker, Wrangler, or Accruer individually if you don't need all three on a given file. But if you wanna roll all three together on a file, the magic bundle, as they refer to it. If you go to the pricing page today, you'll see 300 bucks? What in the name of Barry Mo oh, Hang on. Okay, if you're a firm, you get in touch with them. I actually asked. It's way cheaper, like as low as 25 bucks per file, depending on how many files you're bringing to the party. There you go, that's today's demo day. Thanks to FinOptimal for sponsoring this one. And I'm gonna link the accruer demo day we did because that is like uh, the peanut butter to the Booker and Wrangler jelly. And I'll link the full playlist of demo days as well, where you'll find some really cool tech that I think you're gonna like. Go ahead, click it, click it. Opportunity awaits, my friends. Don't be afraid. Take my hand and click.